average person, get this, has between 40 and 50,000 thoughts per day. But here's the really cool part. 80 to 90% of all those thoughts are negative. Oh, come on, you know that's true. Your alarm clock went off this morning. There was your first negative thought, wasn't it? <laughs> Didn't you go, oh, is it seven o'clock already? I don't like this pillow, it's too fat for me. I, this is not, I'm not, I was overserved last night. I'm not <laughs> feeling so good. <laughs> what you name the thing, the thing tends to become. What do I mean by that? You and I are naming things in our head all the time. You're telling yourself in advance of any situation how it's going to go, what it's going to be like, how you're going to respond. You tell yourself things. If you're going into a meeting, have you ever heard yourself saying, oh, this is going to be a waste of time. <laughs> I don't know why we even bother. She's not going to listen anyway. <laughs> And what you name the thing in advance, it tends to become. So what you want to do is be very, very, very mindful of how you're talking to yourself. Here's how it works. Look at this. In life, so they say, blank happens. What is blank? Oh, no. no, 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 no. You. No, X happens. X. X is anything that you did not intend to happen. Uh, your car breaks down, or the computer goes kaflooey, or somebody doesn't show up. X happens. Now then, look at the next step. You interpret X. You give it meaning. Didn't have any meaning whatsoever until you decided what that meaning was. Then your interpretation, the meaning you gave it, begins to work on you emotionally. Those emotions that you then create affect how you start behaving, talking, communicating, and then your behavior gets you specific results.